So they, right. So then, well, let's go ahead and continue to, on. Tent scene. Tent. Yeah, we got yeah. the. We got tent we. Scene. Yes, we come back and we have the tent scene with Kenny, which we've already talked about. I don't know if anyone has anything to add about the tent scene. I felt so. I felt sad when he was describing what it was like to be beaten to death. Yes. Part of that was making me like lump my throat like. Oh jeez. I didn't expect peaceful to be his answer. Like, no. I. I want to point out the the bit of the trollish answer here, but I got I was actually angry. I actually like uh, if you saw my choices, I actually wanted to see what the eye looked like that with the eye, uh, without the eye patch. I wanted to see what the eye looked like, and I got angry that they didn't show it. And I, I felt like well, you're I teasing me of this. I want to uh, see. I was I was just like. Eh. <laughs> I, I mean, I was sad and all, but I wanted to see that eye. What did it look like? Did you get a look at Did you get a look at Carver when he was near dead? Cause that'd be a good um, look at that. Yep. <laughs> we don't talk have, about you, that. Have, you, have you seen any of the walkers around? You can see plenty yeah, of Yeah, you get to see there. Carver like half a face. You get to yeah. see some, it's yeah. pretty gory. <laughs> but anyway. So yes. I, what I feel about that is like as I said before, now he's much more rational. He's had time to sit down and think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's not he's not screaming at Clementine anymore. And yeah. I feel like, okay, that's that's uh, as we all say, that's the kid I know. You know, you just get to scream out, scream a bit, then calm down, feel sad for himself, get a purpose, and then yeah. off we go. Part of me was nervous because in the corner of that tent there was a big blood splotch on the floor. I now, I assume that was from something before we arrived there, but part of me was nervous walking in. And I was like, Kenny? I, yeah. I will point it out for Logan. Um, I actually watched somebody else's video like I did earlier, yes. and it shows that that's where Sarita's body is supposed to be. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so that's sense. why it's there in the mo- Okay, fair enough. Then. I just assumed it's because Kenny was having his man period. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, that would explain a lot. <laughs> that would well, that, explain that, a whole lot. But that is, but that is, but yeah, that, he wants to be alone. Can't you but, tell? But that, but that, but that is interesting to hear about how they they reuse the te- in a sense. I guess they use the same map model for both scenarios. Then okay, that's yeah. Really but I will, and I will say, as far as like Kim and. Rebecca's childbirth. I that to me was like being able to see Kenny like really start to turn around with him yeah. showing that and give see, him a new you, purpose. You were right, Hark. Um, he needed to protect something. And so as soon as like Clementine was like, "Well, we have a baby that needs to be born, and you need to need you. make sure that yeah. this baby yeah. comes out alive." And then then he like perks up and he's like, "Oh yeah, I, I gotta oh, no. go save the day." You know. Oh no, not, not even that. But like a little bit before that, I noticed that his attitude started turning when you said. I need you. I need you, Kenny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, like I know that that in the conversations when he started turning around was that there. I was like, yeah, oh. that makes sense. I was I, like, Kenny's back! Yay! Yay. I, I'm I'm curious about this part. Like, I'm sure there's no option. Like, you well, Kenny can just like flat out say no. Like, he's not gonna help. I'm curious. Like, when Bonnie asked if Luke has any experience, if Kenny had said no, would do you think Luke would have been able to do it? <laughs> I don't, I don't think, so. think so. After seeing, no. after seeing what he, after seeing what he and Jane does later, I don't think. I'm so. trying to picture him trying to give like help. I can't. Luke, can't. Luke was too busy. To like, ah! Luke was too busy making babies, not delivering babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and, and anyway, and we'll, we'll get to that. And, and, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that part. And the parallelism with him, but. with her and Molly grows. <laughs> but I wanted to point out something when I mentioned with Bonnie and Luke, like uh, in the last let's talk, uh, Luke. Uh, Angel Arts, you mentioned how Bonnie seems to look to Luke a lot, and you, there might be a little bit of a, I guess you could say, relationship between the two. Do you th- still think that stands or no? I think that was more David's David's oh. prediction. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry I got you two mixed up. As it happens. <laughs> yes. I didn't agree with David on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he never agrees with me on anything. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> anyway. Did you want to answer that, David, about whether or not you think yeah, that still applies? I didn't see any any of that in, in this okay. episode. Okay. So. okay, then. So we get we get kind of roped now. I did anyone here actually go with uh, Mike and Bonnie instead, or did or did uh, or you did mean we first? Go to see you mean first? first. Sorry, did you go to go to them first, or did yeah? You did go anyone? To see Jane first? Did any of you go to see Bonnie and Bonnie and Mike first? Anyone? Everybody went to see Jane first. I. I honestly um, don't know what happens if you went to see Bonnie and Mike first. Um, I, went says, to, I went with it Jake. Did, it says that if you do... Um, hang on. We're asking about which which group did you go with, Mike or Bonnie or Jane? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah hang on. I'm, I'm first. first. Yeah, I went here. with Jane. I went, went with Jane, Jane first. I think all of us went to Jane first. I think after having something so much... about. Hang on, you no, you, you I, keep going while I look. I, for I, it. I think after having so much bonding with with Jane this episode, I I would think most people would have decided to go after her first. But that's yeah. just my gut feeling. So, unfor I guess Logan's looking up what would have happened if you went, if anything changes if you went to see Bonnie and Mike first. But let's go ahead and continue with, with going to see Jane. And uh, this is when you meet Arvo. Uh, Arvo. Arvo. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool that they brought in somebody who was... Um, English not, second language. Was, where Eng yeah, English was not their native language. I like that. Uh it was interesting. And of course, he was evil. <laughs> yeah, it was. Racist. The Russians always. Why is it always the, the Russians? Russians are, the <laughs> at the end, I was like, "Why is it Russians?" But this He's was a Russian a, terrorist. He has the nuke. But this was a this was a crippled Russian. So yeah, that's he what was I was going to say. Okay. He was a crippled Russian. I love how they so use. He can hide the nuke in his. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just love how they use and hear me out on this. I loved how they made it like a crippled Russian, not, not just because he can speak uh, English as a second language, but it's because I'm thinking in my head when I see him crippled, I'm thinking, how is it that he survived this long? This had to, there had to yeah. have been more people with him this, that had helped him keep alive. That's what I first saw when I saw him being crippled. Okay, yeah. and. And considering everything that happens towards the end, I'm still not entirely sure why the heck he was putting medicine in a trash can up top. I still don't understand that. Uh, it says that she, he was trying to hide it. Hide, but from who? For so what? There's some, there, there are some predictions. Uh, while I was watching uh, GamerMD83's playthrough, uh, mm -hmm. several comments were talking about a prediction that Arvo may have wanted out of the group. Maybe oh. him and some other... Maybe him and some of the other... Of his companions wanted out of yeah. the group, and so they were stashing or hiding the medicine in preparation for leaving their group. That's what some that. people were thinking. That, and, and, I could uh, believe that. I could and, believe that. And that's might that was an explanation of why, even if you give the drugs back, that might be an explanation as to why um, they still end up attacking you at the end. Because if they had been hiding drugs all along, then if if he gets caught or if he gets questioned, you know what happened to all the drugs, he could pin it on you and yeah. be like, mm -hmm. in order to save his skin so that they could actually continue on with leaving the group. That's that's just a theory. Or, yeah, or again, like, and, and again, tying into that he wanted to leave, it could be that his group is just naturally hostile towards people, that, that right. they're just bandits, and he and that's why he wanted out. But, um, yeah, so Arvo... I, I'm just, uh, I just, um, I think Arvo is, uh, he's like, a cunning innocence, like, and what I mean by that, he is like, he's very tricky. Like, he can he can use the scenarios and switch the and switch his words and switch like who what he this is what this person did and just act innocent. But he also is innocent because when you see him pointing the gun at you, you you realize he's shaking. He doesn't want any trouble, and that's what got to me. Is like he he doesn't really want any trouble. He's he's uh and, and I use this in that my of circumstance. Yeah, he was just there in circumstance. I was gonna say actually, like he was like Lucky Jack and innocent for him. He didn't want any trouble and didn't want to do anything bad. Or maybe he does look like Lucky Jack almost. So, so I so I'm a Nar so I'm a Narvo now, but hey. Or maybe yes. you do. Maybe it wasn't about him wanting to do the right thing. Maybe he's just a coward and didn't want to. Yeah, he was like, probably he was like definitely. if it, like if he shot that gun, it would have attracted walkers. So yeah. maybe he's just a coward. There's a lot of things, but so did, now, I, so did you guys take the meds? Did you leave them? That was, I guess, that that, that to me was that the is trickiest a choice. Question. To that to me was the trickiest choice because I like I wait. That was the one where I waited till like the very end, and I I, I chose to take them because I thought that oh, would you help. Chose to take them. I chose to take them because I thought that would help with the birth more. But now that I hear from you that oh, it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> in fact, in fact, actually, if you hold, give her the meds. I think Luke or someone said, mentioned that, oh, that you were handing her a bottle of oxy pills, and that, that might not actually be good to give to a pregnant woman. Yeah, that's mm. what I was going to say. It's, and, it's, yeah. but, but knowing that, that has no um, you know, direct result on the outcome at all. Well, fine. But great, you didn't know that, so... I didn't yeah. know that, but now, but now, retrospectively, I now feel, god dang, that was one of the big five choices, and it doesn't matter what you do, really? That's a surprise. 
Here are the poll results. Uh, compassion robbed Arvo? Question mark. It said, "Did you steal or didn't steal?" The percentage was did steal. Round, remember, rounding up is forty-five percent, and didn't steal was fifty-five percent. So it was really close. Still, so it was a close minority. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, and it's. I'm just thinking, was it morally right, or was it like to help your group out, or was it Im or was it morally right to let him keep the medicine and make thinking. yourself and make yourself feel good about it? And in my argument, I felt like, and I said this, I said it is morally wrong to steal from people because you don't know what his scenario is. He could actually be in trouble, and he's probably hiding it, hiding it just so he can like get at the medicine later. And it's just that I felt I couldn't do it. I couldn't steal from him. I mean, yeah. if, you, if I could take half of it, I'd be okay with that, but no. They like, didn't give me that option. And, yeah, I was really shakily, like, thinking, okay, do I still... Because he could be... Wait, but no, he had the trash can. So I think, at the very end, it was very hesitant pragmatism that made me decide to take those medicine. Take the yeah. medicine. Blah, grammar. What did you do, Hark? I I couldn't take it. I couldn't steal it from him. I, I had a very strong feeling that he was lying. Um, just because, again, if he had a sick sister, hiding it in the garbage didn't really add up. And he seemed to be spending a lot of time unsure of his story because mm -hmm. I figured he was trying to fragment, like, come up with what his story was. So, but because there was some doubt, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't steal it from him. And I guess maybe part of me was thinking through the eyes of Clementine, who saw what happened the last time. People tried to steal from someone in season one from the oh, car. Right. We we're talking about the camp man and how they were stealing all that all that stuff from this car. I think she might have been like that bit us in the butt last time. So I don't know if I want to do that again this time. So that's a pretty and big. You can look man, at the too. episode t season two episode two where you could take um, I forgot his name now. Um, it's Matthew's lover or partner? What was his name? Oh. Was anybody remember? Uh, oh gosh, Walter, Walter. Yeah, Walter. Like you could take his stance and just offer it back, and or show respect and kindness. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, I was gonna, and uh, I don't know if you agreed with me, Hart. Could you agree that you wanted to at least take half of the medicine? Yes. Because I saw your face. And I even said that in my let's play. I was like, it would still be stealing, but it wouldn't be as bad as stealing, taking everything from him. I figured yeah. it would have been nice to. To say, okay, I don't really believe your story, but I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But because I don't believe your story, I'll at least take some, but not all of your stuff. Yeah. It would have been nice if there was that option, but... Yeah, I I completely agree with Hark. Um, I, I completely agree with you. That's the same thing that ran through my mind when I made that decision. I was pretty sure that he was lying, but... Mm -hmm. I couldn't help but think that, like, there's been consequences for stealing before, mm -hmm. and I really don't think it's worth it in the long run. Mm -hmm. You know, because he could be with a group and they could, you know, track us down, which he did anyways. But, yeah, um, yeah but, like, so I was just like, you know, I'm just going to let him keep it. So. Yeah. yeah. I well, would you... agree with... Uh... Go ahead, Rico. Oh, go ahead and finish. Go, David. Yeah, I'm going to agree with Hawk as well, because, uh, as you say, we don't have evidence that he's, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's lying. That said, if our situation was more critical, like someone was dying or stuff like that, then I would probably take it. But so, I do not agree with like this taking half, because stealing is stealing. You know? uh, if it's one pill bottle or it's a whole bag. I'm, I'm like, nope, <laughs> either or. Hmm. So you you wouldn't at least nope. take half. <laughs> wow, you're, you, I, so, you know, I was gonna say I'm just he's gonna like, go all the way. <laughs> yep. So everything. And here so, I thought I was the sucker of them all because I thought like I was actually believing the six sister story. I felt, and now I'm like, wait a minute. Now everybody believes it's a lie. I might be the big sucker of the, everybody. So now, did, so now, who, so was I the only one who then took the pills out of this? Yeah, you're the thief of us all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't try. I don't try. Fine. You monster, Logan. Fine. <laughs> You're a terrible person. Did Jane take the gun or no? Like, did she steal it or she no? Ta yeah, she takes it. She does. Oh, okay. So I, I was wrong. I thought she gave it back. No. She, yeah. She takes it and she uses it to threaten the guy to never come back. With, yeah. So. Which is why I think he doesn't hold. Does he have his own gun pointing at you at the very end in the standoff or? No, because no, she took it from him. Yeah, okay, so that was the only guy. That was his gun. Okay. 
So, okay, so that situation happens, and then you go to see Mike and Bonnie. Which it was Actually, then... Oh, well, so... you forgot the conversation with between Kenny, uh, Clementine and Luke. Yeah, it's just it's, oh. it's a small it's a small conversation, but I think in what in that conversation is one of the best lines in this episode. Well, you it's just stay silent. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> first one is I'm uh, I'm 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 defending Kenny, mm-hmm. and like he's just protecting the group. And Luke says, "So we're at, we're reduced to just you know killing people brutally or something like that," mm-hmm. and. And I couldn't defend that, so I just put, took the silent option. And mm. that scene after that was just so perfect. I they saw that. It was really good. And they're like, I don't, I don't know. I can't defend that. And it's, mm. Mm, it was so good. It was oh. good. I saw. I watched it. Yeah. Again, I don't, and again, I don't know if it's in my nature, but I very rarely have ever chosen the silent treatment. In any of these games, I very rarely have ever chosen just the silent treatment. I always just, I, I pick, if there was an option, I always picked it, even though I know there is always that fifth option of not saying anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, again, we are brought up to make such choices in video games. Like, yeah. you're not supposed to be silent. You're supposed, you're supposed, to, be this, supposed to be this active protagonist. You know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I was always taught that you need to have the last word, so I always choose an option with the word. <laughs> well, no, and, and, I, and I guess my thing was, and I guess the thing that I need to learn is, because I always think that, okay, nothing's going to change unless I do something, but sometimes in these conversations, you know, if you choose not to say anything, sometimes not doing anything can change something. For the or, too. or as this episode went, even when you do do something, it doesn't matter. <laughs> nothing can nothing change. changes. Yeah, that's the entire opposite. You can do everything and nothing will change. Nothing changes. And you're not doing anything wrong, because there's no right and wrong in this game. No, of course yeah. not. <laughs> it's, but uh, it's nice to see these different things, yeah. Except for Logan, who's stole from the Russian. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <Except cool. from laughs> I'm leaving everybody. Goodbye. I'm leaving because I stole from the Russian. <laughs> Bye, Logan. We'll miss you, buddy. Okay. Nah, but, I really yeah, pressure I... too far to go to to apologize anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was I was raised and taught that I need to always have the last word, and it's always principle to always have the last word. So I oh, when it, when he said, "Well, we, are we going to be br- reduced to be brutally murdering people?" I was like, "But well, what would you have done in that scenario? Like, if you think about it, what would Luke have done with Carver?" And he's like, "Well, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be quiet." Oh, now. really? I didn't know that. I, I just I just thought I said he deserved it because me again trying to defend what I did, but I didn't know. I, I thought this maybe say well, what what you would have done. No, he uh, he starts to doubt himself. Like he wouldn't know what to do with Carver, and yeah, that's Luke, what. Yeah, Luke doesn't what, really have any any concrete answers. He he very often trails off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's like, what got to me. Like that's when yeah. I started to doubt Luke. I was like, okay, if you don't know what you would have done with a psychopathic crazy leader, then you clearly wouldn't shouldn't be criticizing someone who just did something very insane or very brutal. But do. Understand where it's coming from. Uh, he just have to try and, you know, get used to Kenny's mannerisms. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, or just kick him out. Whatever happens later. But um, so Kenny, we, we don't want you to part of the group. Kathleen doesn't love you anymore. Aww. <laughs> but, Wait, um, why, why, why are you bringing <laughs> why are you bringing love into all these things, Taurus? Yeah. I'm just uh, waiting to see, like, uh, what would that be like if Luke actually kicked Kenny out of the group? What would Kathleen's reaction would be like? It was actually, but I think at the museum when we get there, that was actually when I realized the sort of uh, what's the, what what uh, what's what's the um, what's the word that it's a um, coincidence, the 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 uh, coincidental irony of the fact that we're having all this shaky stuff happening at a Civil War monument. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, I think that was very, yeah, that was very on purpose. Yeah. yeah, I actually yeah. like that little touch. Like, I thought that was neat. It's like, oh, hey, yeah. What well, it was it the museum? You mean where it, all those? Yeah, civ- yeah. Civ- that, that was when I re- that was when I, that was when it hit me. It's like, oh, we're at a civil war. We're at a civil war museum. Oh wait, what's happening right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. There were not some pretty nice touches in that scene, including the nod to Lee because he was a history teacher. Yeah, I, re- I remember that. Too. And, um, I felt that was ironic. Uh, yes, and I also liked the bit about the Confederate jacket. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want to wear this color. <laughs> I didn't even think about that until he was like, um, you know, gray is, um, and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh but she's, I, like, I don't, she's like, I don't give a damn about the color. I, yeah. I, that scene actually, I think, had the funniest line to me in this entire 
this entire <laughs> and, I, and I don't want to cuss so like if I just that, that line to me at the oh, front oh, the, the raccoon I'm just yeah. I would eat the crap out of that raccoon I would eat just the dead panels like that raccoon <laughs> and then he had to explain himself afterwards like, yeah. oh I mean I thought, what I, I meant would, to say I was eat that raccoon. I would eat that raccoon <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was funny to me. <laughs> I love that. I loved that scene. That that was the only scene that made me laugh the most. You I didn't can... probably laugh a lot in that when I did it, but it made me laugh when I looked now at you, it later. Now, you can't actually catch the raccoon. No, you're not able to catch it. Oh, right? I didn't know that you couldn't. Uh, I no, I, I, no I, I don't think you can. Okay. But, yeah, Mike but, uh, seems like a very genuinely nice guy all yeah. around. Yeah. He Except when he's uh, grouchy at us. Well, he's grouchy when he tries to sleep. But a lot of people yeah. are. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people are. In, in, in these times, a lot of people would be. Car- <laughs> I mean, I, I, did you, Carver didn't like him. I think he wanted to enjoy the sleep. He could to escape that. Yeah. But, um, so I'm trying to think of what happens yeah. there. Well, uh, David, there is a poll decision in this one where you get to crawl through the ticket booth or not. Yeah, I was going to say, David got really frustrated at that part. Because <laughs> I didn't want to. Mu- I felt like it was really? saying way too much. Like, no, didn't. oh, at, at that point, I was like, Stand aside, little girl, doing everything. Let's do it. Well, I, I, uh, this is so stupid. Why am I? Is this, this is a, uh. <laughs> oh, oh, we need, we need it. We need interesting oh, door. Somebody's in there. I could totally see. At this point, I was like, oh, hey, there's a door. Oh, we can't open it. Why? It only opens for people named Clementine. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Clem, could you help at us? This, like, at this point, I would think that you know, once you open the grate, you probably would smell something. I would yeah. think. Yeah. Or hear but, something. Or they hear don't... something. Because, I mean, you made noise. I would think the walker would have reacted at the sound of the great opening. I don't know. Yeah. There was there were some holes in that part, I thought. I, I, I just loved that scene when they said, oh, yeah, it's so it's so small. It's so skinny. We can't fit through that. If only someone skinny enough would be able to do that. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder, oh, really? <laughs> really? Uh, Mika, you got you to gotta depend I... on a little girl? Wow. Mike, do you think that raccoon could probably help us here? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and then, but then but then you just end, but then you just end up oh, the sh- oh but then they just end up kicking the door down anyways like why don't we just start there? Yeah, <laughs> which yeah, I think I just, actually that was the poll. Yeah. I just loved how Bonnie just went to that like we gotta depend on someone who could fit through the. I was like, oh god, so I see what uh-huh. you kind of want. I was like, but here is the it. poll decision as of right now. I mean, when okay. we, I'm pretty sure I saw this in Angel Arts, uh Let's Play. It was a half and half split, but um, the selfishness crawled selflessness. Crawled through the ticket ticket booth. Uh, as it says, eighty seven percent crawled through and thirteen percent, twelve percent. No, wait, it is thirteen. Yeah, thirteen percent. Yeah, yeah, thirteen percent did not let Bonnie go through. And I was like, really? <laughs> so most of us went through. I don't I've know what I, I, I went long. through. Yeah. Yeah. Bonnie fit through there. I mean, no, no, she, no, she just re- she reaches through. She reaches like uh, open the door. Okay. Yeah, Bonnie's pretty skinny. I'm sure yeah, the lobster maybe, hands maybe helped. He could have fit through them. Hmm. I don't know, but so then then you get a bunch of water, and again he's like freaking like an ox. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, Mike is. I, yeah, I like that scene because it 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 shows us that shows us that shows us that uh, Clementine is not like a superhuman. She's she's, still girl. She can do everything basically, but but yeah. this shows us. That she's still a child, you know. She can't yeah. lift this water bottle. Those things are ridiculously heavy. I tried to they lift are. one at work, and I, I spilled water everywhere today. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember really? one time. I, was, I remember one time I was carrying one. I actually dropped it pff, everywhere, but I've been getting better. Am I the only one that doesn't have trouble with it? I could lift no. one, but the second one would actually have been a hard one to. No, no. Deal with. And it was, in my defense, it was because they didn't have that handle, so I had to like try and grab around this barrel thing. Oh no, 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 no! I, I can do it easily. I was I didn't have a handle to carry. I had to pick it up like um, like Mike what did and hold it like that. It's they are pretty heavy holding it. Yeah. Like. Right. So now our water jug topic has been covered on the checklist. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I just <laughs> loved that scene. Like what I'm I'm agreeing with David. I love that scene where Clem is not a superhuman. She you're trying to lift that huge water jug up. Well, to her size, it would be huge. Mm-hmm. And then Mike just pushes you aside like, let me get take care of this. Oh, yeah. check it. Um, I loved that scene. It was very, I guess you could say, um, positive or you could. It's lighthearted, con- like it had. Yeah, light hearted, like we're still. It was very lighthearted in that scene. Because he, because he, because he, because he didn't like fault her. She, he didn't like get mad at her that she couldn't carry the jug. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I, so that's why I'm starting to like Mike. He still has that yeah. compassion. It was it was a great scene for me to to get to know and to bond more with Mike. I like that because mm-hmm. we like that scene because of that. Now so, I'm not judging Bonnie or anything, but why didn't she carry one at least? Have you seen her legs? Her her arms are thinner than Clem's. Yeah. yeah. Bonnie's not. I think yeah. I don't think she, her brute strength is her forte, <laughs> especially right, again, especially because of her lobster claws and her snake tongue. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Still hold right. that four hundred days thing. Yeah. So Kathleen, I just realized something. Yes. That I, I it just dawned on me that since episode two in every podcast you were mentioning that the episode that the current episode was your least favorite episode in the series. <laughs> so episode three said that. Yeah, but episode three said this so was my least keep favorite. I seriously said that in four, every episode. Yeah, you really no, say it's your really, least favorite. It's, least, it's I guess it's getting just worse for me. Yeah, I episode. It's going down like a roller coaster. Oh, so I didn't I'm, realize that. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, but I but I agree with you. The episodes have been a bit. But, but I'll agree with you. The episodes have been lacking this season, and yeah. hopefully the finale will at least give me a long finale because this, because this episode was not a very long episode either. Yeah. Uh, it's strange because for me it's been better and better. Mm. So, so you're, yeah. like, you're like the – like what's it called? Uh, there's masks oh, actually, and have mice. Yeah, the first episode was still the best, but – Yeah. Uh, it's but, like um, – yeah. Yeah. I, I I think uh, probably this is the worst episode. I think episode this makes episode three much better than this one now. Did Wait, I sure. really say that episode three was my least favorite? Yeah, you, you did. Said, I think you did. Yeah, you what? I think you did. There was a lot that I liked. <laughs> you said you didn't like now, it because so it had like in comparison, story. though, like in comparison, I feel like I like three more than this one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah exactly. Just, and I think in comparison, maybe, you like three more than two and one. Two. I mean, you like but two yeah, more but than like, three. One no, was like really good, and I guess I just feel like it gets kind of a little bit worse. Yeah. With well, as I <laughs> maybe said you've got really high expectations. Yeah. I, I think that could be it. But well, as so, I said before, um, this def- the episode five will definitely be written by uh, Nick Brecken. He right. wrote episode one, and he had a little bit to do in episode two, but not that much. Hopefully, it'll so, end very strongly. So, yeah, yes. let's get to the climax of the episode, or at least where the action really picks up. Um, yes. Oh, damn it! Actually, I have to admit, I made a mistake. Actually, Nick Brecken and Andrew Grant wrote episode one. Nick Brecken wrote episode two. I made a mistake. I apologize. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. So, um. All of a sudden, you're like, "Oh yeah, there's there's zombies in this game," and yeah. uh, again, and, again. Uh, oh, I forgot about the zombies. You make a decision on whether or not to have Mike help Kenny or carry the water, which I don't think ends up really mattering. Or help, I, 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 I or help, help Sarah. Or, or, or help I, Sarah. I, I, I am go. I am go help Sarah. There, okay, so there's that option too, and then uh, I, go ahead, Carson. Uh, I chose to get the water because I thought maybe we can take the water and uh, drink a lot. Maybe after the baby's been born. Mm. Just me. I figured Kenny I... would, especially after what happened at the end of season one, episode five. I figured Kenny's got this. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> he was able to, our army. If he was able to survive that, he can survive this. So, so then <laughs> really? you get to the gift shop and Probably yeah, Jane and Jane and Luke. And yeah. yeah. Jane, there are gonna be so many like no. drawings and arts of that now, like Jane X, oh, all, Jane it. X Luke. Go figure that the like two most attractive people on the show end up fracking each other. Like, go figure. Remove and then <laughs> and then, and then human Car- in a long time. And then Carson and Dave's love. And wasn't it so great I though? Was, like, I was like, oh! What the? Was it's it? just so great how like they managed to convey it to all of us, but keep Clementine totally in the dark. Like she was just like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> what Not happened? Uh, we were just talking. That's all. We were talking. <laughs> but um, I, I needed some help. I love what like Nick says. He's like, I needed some help. I know. I love Doesn't that. Does he say something like that? He's like, yeah, he said, he said, he gave, he said, I needed it. Help me out. Uh, and I needed it. They, I don't know, but yeah. yeah. And what, what stress relief? Me, we'll call it. Yeah. But still, uh, David. One day, Jane will be mine. She will be mine. Right. So they go I mean, in. Happy she, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm happy. Both Why did you Jane involve me in that? Like you were like, oh no, I, you're just fighting Kathleen, David. You're fighting me to the death as well. 
Me and Je- me and David will, will will ally you just to team up against you, okay? Because oh, they need to do that. Because they have to. I'm just, I'm, I'm I mean, just I've been known to be bicurious bait, so if she's a slightest um, bit bicurious, yeah, I'll be, I mean, yes. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for them that it happened. Like, go for it. More power to you guys. But it just it not happened. now. Yeah, yeah, the timing was off. Like, you were supposed to be on guard. Could you wait till nighttime or yeah. something? Or do your job of keeping watch for zombies. Yeah. yeah. I, I, of course, I mean, everybody knows how much I love Luke, but even I had to recognize that yeah. the, the timing of that was just not appropriate. And you missed it. it ended up risking a lot of people's lives. And uh, it, technically got to, it technically got someone killed. It technically did. If, and if you um, don't. Exactly. So with Luke, like, I, I understand where he's coming from. I understand that when you're in, in a situation like a zombie apocalypse, you need something, and I'm, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but just something to keep your sanity, um, something positive or some some escape. I think that's the best way to put it, some yes. escape. Or some big offer. It's a, it, it was like, yeah, it was like he saw it, and it definitely seemed convincing, and he... The opportunity was there. He took it. Granted, it probably was, you know, it probably was a little um, too soon, irresponsible it, it, to do it yeah. at that moment when he I was supposed well, yeah. to be doing something else. Yeah. Well, also, like, just did she? Did he know her from before, or was she like the new recruit? Was she because back, back at Carver's Jane place, Jane is new. Jane was new. Jane is new. Yeah. yeah so she, he knew her for barely a day. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But that, just, that was just an offer, like, okay, but, like, you and me, let's do this, let's forget about it. Go ahead, Kathleen. Yeah. At least I don't judge them just for knowing each other for a day. I mean, it's like the zombie apocalypse, and yeah. they're all stressed yeah. out, and they just want to have fun, so. Anyway. If Jane had asked me, I only knew her for a day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you would have said yes immediately, you would have been like... Mm, yeah, let's again. Yeah, who would have said yes? Um, okay. <laughs> you would have said yes to me, Kathleen. Don't lie. You would have yeah, said yes. Oh yeah. To I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I, 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 if 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 it was Luke asking me, I mean, I definitely would be tempted too. So. <laughs> <laughs> so we all have that irresponsibility. We all have that. Us. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the one like... guy. I'm the one guy yelling all you kids, <laughs> freaking zombies like, out You're the youngest of us all. Person here. <laughs> I'm that the only is, responsible well, one here. I wouldn't say no to J- I wouldn't say no to Jane if she offered me some sex. <laughs> well, it could be because I have a girlfriend too. That could also be a very strong thing. In the zombie that. apocalypse. Oh shut up! If the, so, yeah, never mind. Yeah. If the girlfriend was going to zombie. Moving on. Because <laughs> I'm not going to have you. Because I'm not going to have you start throwing gears into that. Go ahead. I think Kathleen yeah. has something to say. Yeah, Kathleen has something to say. I just want to say that, like, okay, so I want to know what you thought about this. So I was thinking during this conversation, like, they have kept her in the dark about something that's really important, and I don't know if it's just because she seems really young, but I feel like someone's got to set her down soon and tell her how babies are made because she is. If she knows how people die, oh. multiple ways that people die, I feel like it's time for her to hear no, about this. Yeah, no, how you know, because no, she's no, in a world where she, like, I'm just saying, like, she needs to know how to protect herself because, like, there are people that are going to cross her path that are going to want to abuse her, like, yeah. and she needs to know about that part of life. Yeah. Um, and I think that she's totally mature enough to know about that, and it, especially because, yeah. like. I took this class, um, it was one of my last literature classes that I took, it was uh, children's literature, and what was really interesting, one thing that we talked about is that the what, perception of childhood has changed over time, and because of that, children have changed how they perform the role of child. Like, people will, children will perform the role that they think that, like, adults expect of them. If if they expect are expected to be innocent, they will like perform that role. And um, I think this time is a lot kind of like the Middle Ages and a lot of times um, during the Middle Ages, like kids would know about death and making babies at a very young age. And I feel like mm-hmm. she definitely is at the maturity level there. She can know about that. But I don't know, I'd like to hear what you're I think um, you're totally right. I think you're totally uh, yeah. right about this. And that's yeah. That's why I think that in the end of episode five, it's going to be Jane and Clementine going into yeah. the next season. Mm. She's gonna show her everything. What's it? What it is to be a woman? I, mean. I, thought, yeah. Jane, wait, I thought Jane. 
We'll get to that chronologically. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think they'll find each other again, and they're okay. going to... So, uh, yeah, I think you're totally right. She needs someone someone to watch over her, like a big yeah. sister. Yeah, and, and I agree with you, I mean, in a couple of years from now, like, I know I don't make, mean to make you guys squirm, but, like, a couple of years from now, she's going to become a woman. And yeah, she, exactly. that right. will be traumatic if she doesn't have someone tell her right. how that what, happens. Uh, yeah, what's happening to her body. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to see that. I can, ima I can imagine her being completely terrified considering, you know, okay, maybe, part, maybe okay, you may want to bleep this out in case this gets immature because it's just my mind, but I realize considering the connotation she's had with blood, yeah. In this world, she well, might be terrified why, the first time it happens. That's why in a lot of like children's stories, when like when, when there's blood with like involved with a female, it's usually in a very traumatic, scary way mm -hmm. because that moment is traumatic and scary, mm -hmm. and it could be even more traumatic and scary for Clementine in the moment that she's living in. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. and I but I definitely agree that with all this death going around, it'd be nice for her to learn about how life can also yeah. be made. Yeah. Yeah, I. I wonder how. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, David. I wonder how many of us are gonna, like, in season three, uh, if she gets a boyfriend, we're gonna be like, no. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 we're gonna be the loving man. We're gonna be the yeah, parent. I agree with David. Trump. You better have her, freaking. <laughs> you, you have her to that town by November, not a month earlier. You have her to that town safe. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm just going to throw this out right now. And David, you just inspired me with an idea. And I've, I've already made this prediction. For like season three, I'm predicting Clem's going to be in her mid to late teens. And that um, I also predict that um, during this mid to, oh, like, let's say 15, 14 to 16 age, I feel like she's going to find that boyfriend mm -hmm. status. She's going to find a guy around his her age. Or girlfriend. Or part of me think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or girlfriend. Season well, three. Well, well, it's never expressed what she feels. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. She had, she has, I don't think she's even found love once yet. So, so season three is going to be a zombie dating sim. Just yeah. so, <laughs> so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> you may, you may be surprised that that might. I, I wouldn't be. Yeah, I, it's like, I, I bet. I bet. Zombies are trying to find true love. Clementine. Ooh, I, Clementine has to find true love. There's these <laughs> options that you can try to have her. Date or no, not I've... date, and then depending on certain like decisions you make, some of the options might die. You know, it's like... <laughs> no, I bet. No, oh, I it's bet so you. terrible. I bet you. No, I bet you, Carson. There's a zombie dating sim somewhere on the internet right now. There is a zombie dating sim. Oh right no! But, I, but I'm. But I, no, I, I saw one for pigeons. I've seen one for dinosaurs. Yeah. There's got to be. But no, I'm gonna say. Um, I actually think season three we're not gonna play as Clem. I think there might be a new protagonist. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. If this fabric continues. No. We'll, 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 I, 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 well, I wish I could have played as Lee more in season two, but nope. We'll we'll so talk more about we're... about season three at the, yeah. at the end. We'll talk more about that. Yeah. At the end. So. Okay. We'll play as a baby. <laughs> yeah. I, I I did want to respond to Kathleen's question about about Clementine and maybe um, I actually never uh, got the gist that Clementine wasn't aware of how babies were made yeah. and it could just be Same. and maybe it's part of it's because a I just always considered her a very mature girl so maybe they she already had that conversation with her parents um me personally I already like maybe part of it's because my mom was a nurse but I knew about the birds and the bees to like since since I was really young so that was never the having the talk with me was never a big deal at all with my parents and as Probably. and by extension You're lucky. myself so and and maybe that's why it never really dawned on me that Clementine would not be aware about I, I, the birds and the bees. So I, I could I could theorize that maybe during her time that maybe we'll meet in Krista with you know the ba Krista's baby on the way. They may have mentioned that to her at some point. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, yeah. That might have I side with Logan on that. That's that's a good possibility. Uh, um, and then they start to rush in with the baby, being trying to be born. The water broken. Uh oh, yep. trouble. Yes. Uh, the, the the zombies come and they're at that great. Here's they're the part. Out. The part that that frustrated me about the scene is I see them up against Sorry. that grate and I'm like, why don't they just stab them through the grate? Like, why do they have to go and start <laughs> shooting? Well, wasting well, their bullets. That's what I thought. When they can just I, no, I was, no, 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 no. I, I was thinking. I was thinking because then I dial back. Say, oh wait, one of them grabs them and then bites them through the yeah, grate. Yeah, I was okay. thinking that. Thinking that as well. I was Perhaps. like scared when they went up to like push the zombies yeah. away. Yeah, I was like, that might no. be true. 
David, I'll ice you. you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, so um, I sh so I I'm, the I'm a split answer for both David's and uh, Hark's answer. Like, why didn't they just stab him? Well, it, it was better they shoot. I say it was due to that situation. They had to shoot, but they could have at least, like, got, like, a really big pole and just started stabbing their heads. And Poking them off the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, exactly. Just... But, I remember. I remember. I actually felt like panic for that bit when the deck collapsed. Uh, because yeah, the, it was because the, you, it's because you moved the cannon, right? No, no, yeah, you moved the cannon, but then it it, it becomes yeah. way too heavy, and it collapsed. And part of me did a double take because I heard the scream. I was like, "Wait, did I just see Sarah go?" Yeah. And then yeah, this is the scene where Sarah. If you save I, Sarah, she falls. The and I got panicked. I was like, "Oh God, no." Crap. That scene for me was not nearly as tense because Sarah wasn't there. Like the fact that it was just Two Jane that. made that scene yeah. totally different experience for me. So Yeah, but you did watch like the others and you yes, see the I did see what happened. Yeah. So well, I feel I, Did you guys try to save Sarah again? Yeah, I had I had Jane. I didn't. Yeah. What? Oh, oh Kathleen! You watched, you watched her die. Yeah. What was your What was your reasoning, oh, Kathleen, or your explanation? Um. Okay. Explain so yourself. I I'm gonna explain myself. Go ahead. Okay. okay. So I was faced with that situation. I was thinking, okay, I was thinking I would have to choose between Sarah and Jane, and I'm pretty sure that oh. wasn't the choice. But I was oh. thinking, okay, so if I rescue Sarah, I could be putting myself in jeopardy. And, and the cycle repeat itself. Yeah, and the cycle again. repeat itself. Or I could help Jane, who's really more valuable to the team. And I was really thinking, like, pragmatically. Mm. And I know that sounds awful. So, so is that the same thing as Dave saying, putting a, a value on someone's life? Or? Well, yeah, not, yeah. not only that, but just, like, is is it really going to have value in the long run? Is she really going to stay alive that long? And does she, does she want to stay alive, you know? So um, I wish she could have died a way that was more peaceful. Um yeah. That's what I was saying. I, I didn't want her to die like that. That's why. Yeah, to I didn't want her to die like that. But it happened. And then I was like, I didn't. I, I didn't. I wasn't like, oh well. I was just like, oh my god, yeah. that sucks. But no, I uh, yeah. In the split second, I thought I made the right decision. So yeah. I felt I felt really bad because all I could remember was you know the the first, and I, even today the one like today because I played the game like eight hours ago technically because I was <laughs> procrastinating again, but. Even now, the one thing that calls out to me the most in that is that one of her last words was her crying out for her dad and mm. and climbing because, because the daddy. Out. She was saying she was yelling, "Daddy!" Because like the, that's the one thing I can remember is she died in pure fear. Yeah. And her last moments were terrifying. That's what made that's what made that the hurt more for me than it that it yeah. Go ahead, Carson. Um, I just I agree completely agree with Logan. I wanted to save uh Sarah because like what. Uh, Kathleen said, I think it's better that you die in peace so instead of yeah. dying in fear. But I just, like, I wanted to save Sarah and still give her that chance to survive because when you left her in the, uh, the when you saw her in the trailer park, you saw she gave up on everything. But when you gave her that fighting chance to survive, she wanted to keep going and going. And that made me want to try and save her. You, yeah. And it, because it felt like my human, it would be against humanity to leave someone to die like that. So I asked Jane to go save her. Obviously she tried, and then I was freaking out that she got hit in the head by a wood yeah, buck, I which I thought that would have knocked someone out. I, I thought, thought not. I was fearing the worst. I was fearing like Final Destination style. I thought that was gonna kill her right there. Yes. You know, people have died before. But yeah. you guys, yeah, this is an interesting question. What Do you guys it? think that maybe Jane would die because you asked her to save? I uh, thought Sarah. after because after she I, like I did. It looked, choice. it looked like a choice, like between Jane I, and Sarah. I did. That's I, why I cho chose Jane. Uh, I could. I could see. I, I saw her making her. I saw what she was capable of doing. I and I saw like in that again. I, I think, I think in this episode the big thing was me acting without thinking fully through. Even though this was supposed to be a refresher episode for me to get my crap together. Um, but in this one, I, I, I could see her making through. I just didn't foresee board coming and hitting her in the head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, but yeah. no, and, and, and for that matter alone, when she got up, I was not terribly like Kenny's, Kenny Wise. I wasn't really mad when Sarah died in the sense like I was like I had lost someone like, you know, like if I had lost, you know, Lee or Kenny or something like that. Because like, Kenny, I was mad in episode, like back in episode five when he ditched us in season yes. one. I was mad. But with this one... Um, when when Jane came up and she said I tried, mm -hmm. I was just like I know, 
I know you tried. Yeah. Yeah. She was I'm not... such a trooper going down and crying yeah, to the I, last. I think to answer David's question, I, I, I guess you could say I was a little scared. I was kind of scared that when she, that block hit her, that wooden block hit her in the head, I felt like she was going to get out, she was going to pass out, be mm-hmm. out cold, and the zombies would eat her. I was freaking out right there. But when she mm-hmm. got back on her feet and the zombies, like I was trying to say earlier, got to uh, Sarah. She also said in her last one, she was saying, Daddy, Daddy, oh, please, no, Clementine. She was calling out for all the people she knew or cared about. And when she died in pain, I wouldn't say I was angry, but I was sad that, no, I lost someone. I tried to help them, but I yeah. lost them. And Jane came up and said, I'm sorry, I tried. And I'm like, I know you tried. It's all we could have done. Yeah. So to answer your question, David, yeah, I got a little scared that Jane could have died right there. But ah, when, I look, when I look at the story, I was like, wait, they wouldn't kill her. Not like that. Uh, they could. You, Molly could have died in episode four. Yeah. So but, and she could have died. Yeah. People's luck, like she said, people's luck runs out at some point. So. Yeah, and then... What freaked me out was they actually started to climb. Like, well, I wouldn't say climb. They were just like walking up there like this. Yeah. Did anybody notice that or no? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it was weird. I just thought like you could have at least like the zombies could have at least gotten up and started walking, not just like crawl like a baby almost. I don't know. I I was finding kind of like oh really great they can walk up slopes now. Yeah. Right. They're getting intelligent. They've evolved. <laughs> They've evolved past plain. Flat yeah, pretty soon they can walls. open doors and. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all, it's turning into Resident Evil all Although, over again. Part of me also, then part of me kind of dead back. like, wait a minute, I've seen them climb up stairs. They really will that be impressed those by wicker random... things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that creeped me out. Don't even mention those anymore, please. <laughs> Don't. No. Mm. So, so then, you you yeah. You, you, so you just... so you guys bring down the deck. The whole deck falls, and then crisis averted. Now, question. Mm-hmm. Because Jane showed us that there was a second ed- exit down the other way, because you see her climbing down those stairs when she yeah. leaves. Why didn't they go up that way? Well, they couldn't huh. leave. They, they couldn't the leave door. Rebecca, who was still giving birth to her baby. No, no, no. I'm, ta- I'm, not, I'm not talking. About, I'm talking about the zombies coming up the way she oh. went down later when I don't she know. left. Why maybe, was that? maybe they didn't find. Oh, it. it's because know. Mike closed the door, and they oh. were more. T- they, they've gone through doors before. We've seen them go through doors. They but were more they were attracted on the to this noise. They were yeah, it was yeah. like they're really dumb, so they can only pinpoint noise. They wouldn't have noticed the door unless someone had drawn I, their attention to oh, it. So I love they, the okay, so they, they, they just do the point A. They just do straight line. They don't think about other routes. They yeah. just yeah. I love Kathleen's answer there. They're dumb, but then they've evolved and they're able to climb up on slopes now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, so then the then all this is happening while Kenny is I, delivering I think the Kenny baby. Really like, Kenny's I, that's why I, again I like that Kenny was able to. Kenny was a badass in that scene. My doing that. And then we see the baby in his hands, and my heart like, like wrenched for a second. I thought it sunk. Be- because of of it not moving, or because of its appearance. Because of it not moving, because of its okay. appearance, but definitely, definitely because of its moving. Especially since I gave her oxy, I gave her ah, pills. Okay, okay. Thought, so you're oh, wondering. I-, I was thinking, did I just really mess up and kill the baby? Oh, I yeah. see. Yeah, and then, she did. It's bad. I didn't think it looked that irregular for a newborn baby. I mean, it was like still covered in placenta. Yeah. I meant like, more of I meant more of its skin no, tone. Its skin, skin tone. Oh no, it, that's it normal hard. actually. It's that's pale? normal actually for it to be. Oh, a little I mean, uh, if it was black or white. Right, so whether it was Carver's or Alvin's. Was oh yeah. I'm going to be uh, pulling this oh, up I, now I, while you talk about it. I mean, I, I was wasn't just... thinking about it at the t- at the, that moment because I was still thinking, oh my gosh, is this a stillborn? Is this a stillborn yeah. baby? I was like getting the hatchet, hatchet ready. Oh jeez, <laughs> yeah. All right, so, we're gonna get this baby ready. I'm. I don't like no, children anyway, so I'll get this hatchet ready. No, but, I, but no, I felt. I felt. I felt. My, my last play, I felt awful. I felt really mm. bad. Mm-hmm. And then it coughed, and it and I was like, yeah. oh my, okay. Then well, you know, color pigment returned back to it. It actually got oxygen. I was like, oh my god, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna confirm it right here on this poll. It actually the polls are the website is actually confirming it is Carver's baby, not Alvin's. I don't oh, know. Really? I don't, yeah. I don't know Carson. I didn't think it looked like Carver. I thought it actually did look like Carson's it kid. It looked uh, like Carson. My kid. Yeah. <laughs> it's my kid. Don't it's worry. Carson's kid. 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know, it has the little red hair. It you looked know, like Carson's kid to me. <laughs> I, like but, but, I think but, Logan no, is wait, right. But now, <laughs> but now wait, but now what? Right, now, what is, <laughs> but now wait, but now for that poll, what were they using for like to base that? Was was that just people's guesses, um, or did they actually have actual facts to say, hey, they wanted to be Carver's baby? Uh, of course, this is what my so-called source. This is what my source yeah. also said. It was the voice actor for Alvin actually confirmed that it's not hit Alvin's kid. It's Carver's kid. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah, I don't know if that shocked anybody or any at all. Not really. I didn't think about it, it at all. It looked actually. like it looked like it was Car. It belonged to Carver's and not Alvin's. Well, uh, uh, me, I'm but me, I'm thinking. I don't even care. Yeah, it doesn't life, matter. And it's, and it, Car it looks like Carver. It doesn't have to be like Carver. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yes, that yeah. doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. so but... I kinda, is, I'm going to bring up something a little bit controversial. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. What did you guys think about her choice to bring the baby into the world? Like, was that, like, were you thinking, like, okay, well, this is a little unfair to the kid, or I don't know. Is this, like... Some really dangerous. You mean, you mean as opposed to you mean as opposed to trying to induce uh, induce a um a, 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 abortion, a, a, an abortion not abortion but I'm talking about a miscarriage, a miscarriage. Yeah. instead of a, yeah inducing a miscarriage is that what you're asking? Yeah. Hmm. I I'm gonna let someone else start with it. I've been starting with a lot of the topics. So let someone else start. Yeah, this does get really controversial. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was well, it's in a zombie apocalypse, so morals are a little bit. I yeah, I mean, for me, I guess at face value, for me, I always once once a child has been conceived, I always tr want to give the child a fighting chance. Yeah. Um. So for me, I probably, if I were her, I would, knowing that it would probably cause a detriment to myself and anyone who was around me, I I probably would still go through with it. Because yeah. I don't think I would be able to live myself with myself personally if I if I mm -hmm. physically did something to harm my own child. So um, yeah, yeah. I felt, and I guess I felt I would feel like if I didn't want to endanger somebody else, then I would just have to try to take care of the baby by myself. But then you put the baby in at risk because yeah, it's harder to take care I, of the baby at that point. So yeah, and um, what was it? Um, and with me. When when she first when Jane first brought it up when we were walking in the woods back in the start of this episode, I think even up towards the very end, if it, if it wasn't the zombie apocalypse, no question you all have yeah. the baby because it's you know it's yeah. it's it's yeah. time for it's time for her to at least have that hope that light in her life still. But I I think I was still I was still on the fence. I was still weighing the pros and cons of both sides, but I never came up with a final decision. So if it's alright for me to be on the fence still with that one, I'm gonna remain there. Okay. Because I because if she had the baby, it'd be a horrible, horrible, like ten times more stressful than normal parenthood when you include zombies. Yeah. In any in any given situation. How about, um. Yeah. Hmm. How about you, Carson? Okay. Uh, it was uh, if she if she should have still brought the baby That's in. Right. I say yes. It sh she should have. It gives like okay. when you bring that. Uh, I guess you could say that newborn baby into the world, it gives you some kind of hope instead of yeah. bringing it in. And that actually, without the baby, there would be no hope, and you'd be like, okay, so no matter what, we're all hopeless and we're done at this point. There's nothing we gotta, we can do at all. But when she brought it in, she felt like she brought, she got that confidence into herself, her hope, and that's what I think people need in like a zombie apocalypse world. They need hope. They need chance to believe in themselves. And, um... Yeah. I didn't think th I actually did not think you were not able to hold the baby. I thought no matter what you're going to oh, be able, allowed to hold the baby. That. Well, David yeah, well, didn't want to. That was no, so nope. funny. No, David's no. not a not a baby. I, I'm person. the one really? who would wouldn't. Uh, I mean, back to the abortion thingy. I I wouldn't blame her if she wants to to have have it terminated at all. Yeah. It's her. It, I, I think it would. Her, I think it'd be her choice. Again, yeah, it's a, it's her choice. So, go ahead. But it just it puts. I mean, I, I understand what you guys are saying about bringing hope and you know bringing the human race forward. Because we don't know how long the zombie apocalypse is gonna go on for. But if it's if it's like in in the near future, it's gonna end, or like in ten years or fifteen years, then I would. Then I would, if if I was her, I would probably terminate and try and survive. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's me. Sorry if I offended like half the population of the no, world. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I, I feel I feel like it's a tough topic. The responsible yeah. Thing to, Sorry, uh, I yeah. brought up something really controversial, but I feel like you know the interesting thing about uh, zombie apocalypse stories is that they cause you to go into this morally gray area where it's like you would make decisions that you may not make right. in in yeah. regular life. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I wouldn't normally just kill someone in cold blood. But I would do it in a zombie apocalypse if mm -hmm. it would save someone that I cared about, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know. So you're um, saying you would kill a pregnant woman if it would save the world? Yes. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I love how David no, just answered that I wouldn't kill Rebecca, but, I mean, if I was if I was impregnated in that situation, as much as I, as, as much as I want to have kids, I'd probably be like, oh, okay, I want to, like, you know, wait till I find, you know, a safe a place safe to be in. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a sanctuary. So, um, right, that, that Amazonian a... sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jane, Molly, we're coming for you. You're so we far. Will head, we will head north. Yes. We will yeah. head north to Wellington. That's where they've gone. <laughs> the Wellington. Oh, Krista will be there as well. Krista will be there as well. She's a tough. That will be the, yes. We'll get to that. I want to talk about that with Krista. Yeah, we'll get to that. In the 